Alright guys, so welcome back to part 2 of the video with, again... Total Dino. Yes! Hello. Another special guest. So this part 2, we're going to be looking, instead of looking at unsolved mysteries, we're going to be looking at classic theories that, from back in the day, and we'll reflect back on what people used to think. Jeez, you haven't even told me this yet. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. And we'll stick around to the end because we're also going to have a little bit of a bonus. Alright, Alright, so the first there. thing is that Golden Freddy is in the kitchen. Yeah, they definitely have an old mascot in the kitchen where they cook food. What do you think of that? Do you think he's in the well, kitchen? Where do you think he is? Honestly, Golden Freddy in the kitchen, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. Because the camera is always off. Unless it's broken. Golden Freddy is said to have some sort of power, right? Maybe he's disabled the camera on purpose so it's not real. He's not able to be But then the thing is, it has the text there. Camera disabled, audio only, like it was put there on purpose. That's true. When all the other cameras are disabled while they're like animatronics are roaming, maybe that's Golden Freddy's doing. I don't know. It's inter it's an interesting theory, and it does make sense in some sort of way. Yeah, so it, I mean, it's kind of a controversial topic, you know. It, it's debated whether it's not, it is or not. I don't think it, I don't think Golden Freddy's the one. Like when the animatronics move, I don't think it's him uh, doing the cameras. I think I think it's just. The way I think it's just like them moving around, maybe like the, like the, that, that, the that like the, insinuates, like, do they have an electrical impulse or something? Yeah, like something like that. That's it? like interfering with the signal. Like maybe the AI has like an electrical impulse that like every time. They so yeah, the I don't camera. think it's that. But then why is the know. kitchen camera disabled? So you're saying it could be he could actually be in there. It, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's it's highly debated, you know. Yeah, because why would they keep an animatronic where they keep, where they cook the food? But then that also goes to figure like where does Golden Freddy hang out in FNAF One and Two? It could be like because off camera and backstage. The maybe. kitchen in FNAF One and Two is both off, and Golden Freddy is never. Seen, I think Golden Freddy's just in parking services in FNAF Two. Foxy's definitely in there because the mini game and how he's always, where how when and when everyone leaves and when Foxy's not in the hallway, he stands in there. So he definitely starts off in there, definitely. And why would I was seeing Golden Freddy starts there? Because where else would he go? He That's starts on the true, other side with Fo near Foxy. It, both FNAF one and two both have the cameras disabled, and Golden Freddy appears in both, but none in the others. So, and then again in FNAF four, when there's another kitchen there. So they kind of insinuate it's like FNAF three is not there, FNAF five is not there, and there's no kitchen in either of those. But every other location that has a kitchen, he's kind of appeared in, you know? So what are you talking about FNAF 4 and sister it. location? And you've never also been able to see the kitchen either, so... Yeah. yeah. The it's only time you ever actually see the kitchen is like only like a couple months ago, at least at this point, which is Security Bridge. I think that's the first kitchen you see. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's really interesting. So, yeah, it's kind of a debated topic, but... Let's not get too far into it, otherwise we'll be talking yeah, about it. Yeah, we better not. We better not be a repeat of the last video. So we're going to say it's debatable if it is true or not. Debatable, but makes sense. Alright, let's go back to this one where basically no one knew everyone. This is going to bring back a bit of nostalgia. Nostalgia. Foxy is a good guy. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what? Because they said because he, he just comes in, he runs in, he just pops in, and he doesn't jump scare you. Look, that's like a theory from like, what, five years ago? Yeah, ages ago. Probably, maybe I mean, even longer. Like 2016, wow. Um... I mean... It's, I don't really know. It's not... It can't be true at all, because we know... It, why would Foxy be the old one out? Why? Look, I mean, the, it, the only kind... It kind of... Maybe it kind of makes sense with uh, the Foxy Go Go mini game, but I th I think it's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, but like the Foxy's always like really annoying to deal with in like FNAF two as well, especially like where he always comes in the hallways. And he yeah, he is. Or yeah, that is a good point. He is definitely an outlier because he's he's out of order in FNAF one, and he has different mechanics in FNAF one two. Anywho, okay, so it states that like he can't really run as fast as in FNAF one. Right? But instead of doing that, he kind of just runs to your, like, or walks to your office, and then he kind of leaps at you instead of running to you, you know? Yeah. Because you can see, if you get a screenshot of Foxy, you can actually see his entire body, including his feet, leaping at you. Whereas, yeah. He just whereas jumps at one, you somehow. Because he was more built, he kind of just runs towards you. Alright, we're going to go on the next one now. Yep. Alright, so the next uh, one, we're going to go FNAF 2, which is... Toy Cheek is building Mangle. Hmm. This is kind of an interesting 
topic. Because people, they, because people were saying they could see Toy Chica's beak inside Bangle, but then in reality it was just the bow tie. They thought that there was the was the beak, but then it's the bow tie. <laughs> they yeah. thought that was the <laughs> they thought that was the beak. I mean, oh, it was kind. Of, I kind of get it, but it's kind of hard to see in the game because we've got like the direct texture. Which is like, which for us is like the we got the white background for it, which is because uh, it's transparent background. Yeah. Look, so people I couldn't really see back it. Back in the day, people thought that, but I don't really think the theory needs much explained to realize that. Yeah, it's not. It's not true at all. At one point, <laughs> was kind of his own entity at one point. You said in last video. Star, you know? said in last video how you think that um it could be the animatronics are uh, maybe trying to like fix or build Mangle. So do you think that could be something related to this at, at all? So you said about um, do you think this ties into your theory at all from Look, last video? Last about video, I said he was kind of like they didn't recognize him after he was destroyed, which kind of means that in a way Chica didn't build him to start off with, but in the end, after he was destroyed, the AI didn't recognize him and tried to stuff him in an animatronic suit per se, and that's how he got his extra limbs. All right. So you think so does that sort of make sense? It just clarify that in case other people from the last video didn't realize that either. I'm not saying the animatronics built him to start with. I'm yeah, saying yeah, I built him after. But he was then destroyed. the thing is, like, they're trying to stuff him into the suit, not like put an endoskeleton in him. That's the thing. Yeah, like I kind of get that. All right. So, all right, we'll go on to the next one then. Yep. So um, yeah, well, Toy Chick is big. Where's Toy Chick is big? I don't think, well, I don't think we really care. Probably just yeah, left on the stage. It's, it's, I think it's just the bow tie. But where AI. is Toy Chick is big then? Since she takes it off, where does she put it? I think she just leaves on the stage. I don't think, I don't know why people would so rile, rile up about where she puts a big. It's probably just left on the stage. I don't really no, care. Maybe, she, maybe she detaches it once she tries to eat food in the kitchen. You know. <laughs> that, is there even a kitchen in FNAF 2? I um, think so. But then why is it, yeah, there's gotta be, but then why is it like not on the map is a thing? Again, that kind of ties into like the Golden Freddy sort of thing, you know, to say yeah, uh, yeah. numbers in every kitchen. So you're saying... I mean, Alright, yeah, oh, let's just move on, let's just move on. Scott's an interesting man. Alright, so remember in the... Alright, so remember in the, the good old days when the FNAF 3, uh, the teasers, they thought Springtrap was Golden Freddy, and when they found out it was a, it was a Bonnie, they called him Golden Bonnie. That's right. Yeah, and then like in like there's the like one teaser had like the box of the parts that, that's in the office, and then like it was showed like sal uh, it was showed Springtrap, and then people call them salvage, and they said that either he was built from those parts, or he was gonna build animatronics to send to you to kill you. Yeah, look, technically William did build the animatronics. So what do you but, think um, about him build like Springtrap? Sending animatronics to kill you. I mean, you could kind of say that with the blob in Security Breach, but that's yeah, like completely like, unrelated again, at the same time. Then again, you've kind of got the Phantoms, which I believe William sends after. Oh, yeah. So he kind of does that, but those aren't really real animatronics per se. Yeah. Those are kind of just ghosts. But then they and cause like, really errors, though. They again. cause errors, so they've got to have some sort of. They have to have some sort of. They've got to be kind of like Golden there. Freddy. Like, Golden Freddy's pretty ghostly. But he's got to be ghost. attached to reality somehow, probably. He's a ghost, but he's he's got a presence. You know, you can sense him in the room. Yeah. And that's why, I guess that's why system errors occur because they can sense it. They can do physical, or well, I guess not physical damage, but they can do sort of like spiritual damage, and that's why. Yeah, kind of like the crying things. children. Probably can they do that? I I'm not sure, but. But then they blocked up William because if they couldn't do anything, then why can't William just walk out of the room and completely ignore them? Unless he yeah. was terrified of seeing the ghosts and he just. He was too terrified because if he went in there, it could be. I don't know. Look, I guess that's maybe one of Williams. All right, so another one. All right, let's be one. Ghost. Another one, kind of on the topic is uh, people when people noticed that there was like they thought what they thought uh, William Afton's head was a brain, so people thought that phone guy was stuffed in Springtrap. Okay, so these two theories don't really need much explaining, uh, but considering they're false. quite relatively old now. Um, yeah. William Afton. Springtrap, right? He died after the crying children, or the missing children. All right. The crying child. The missing children. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think that. Right. Into a room, and he 
they never really got in the spring lock suit and died. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure yeah. everyone knows this. There's probably some idiots who still don't believe that. But we'll go on that into a bit more later. Alright, I'm sorry if I'm trying to seem if I seem a bit rude trying to cut you off, but yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry if I do. Alright, uh, so it's next one. The spring bodysuit and not the golden spring or the golden, golden bodysuit. So just people don't know that they're actually Yeah, there. yeah. Was the spring it's William in there, that's the thing. Just remember that if you're somehow not caught up or you still think it's like someone else or if you're in the phone by Unless you're though. also new to this uh, Yeah. Too. If you are then I don't think this is the good video to be watching on nostalgic theories, but you can still watch this as well. So next theory was that Springtrap means no harm. They're saying this because he just walks up to the walks up to the night guard and he just doesn't but like, he doesn't like he doesn't leap at them. He just strolls up and the other one he just he just strolls up in both of his jumps here. The second one he kind of like he kind of like, hey what up? The other one he's like, oh he just strolls in. Alright, I'm just gonna say this right now, definitely not. Right? What I'm gonna say is Spring Bonnie, I don't think because he was the original original like before like he was like the one starring in family diner he doesn't have an ai which is sort of similar to cassidy or now that doesn't have an ai either so he's fully aware right yeah and that also means because william afton died you know a way that his soul and his body at the same time sort of merged with the suit and the fact that, that suit didn't have an ai William's probably fully conscious in that suit, with nothing controlling him, which means he's probably talking and acting like a normal human would too. Which yeah. is why he probably doesn't run or jump scare. Yeah, because like he's more would. human. He's, he's more, more human, human than the others. That's why. He's a humanoid, basically. He's a humanoid robot that. Ah, uh, yeah, up yeah, yeah. Instead of. But he kind, that makes sense. he kind of does this in, or uh, well, technically all the, um, all of them just like stroll, like kind of just pop up from nowhere, and they don't really like. They don't reach at you, they don't bite you or anything. Like, in, that sort of thing in with the Phantoms too. Like, you can see through the window. You can see this through the window, like, even with the Phantoms, how Balloon Boy would just sort of appear in the screen, or uh, you can see, like, uh, Phantom Freddy walking through the corridor like a normal, a normal person, you know, through the window. But then, baby, he, like, he, but then, baby, he literally jumps at you and he opens his mouth wide. I guess that can be sort of said the same with Springtrap too, it's just his skull makes it look like he's not really doing much. Alright. So, to basically, just sum it up, we're just saying that uh, he means. It's, it's just said. We're just saying that he, he has weird he's a jump scares. Robot with full could, yeah. And that's how Cassidy sort of traps William in his own hell as well. Because Cassidy also has full consciousness because it's the original robot with no AI. That's what we're trying to say. Alright. That's still a bit confusing, but whatever. Alright. So, if you FNAF... understand it, you understand it. If you don't, you don't, you know. <laughs> yeah, alright. So, FNAF 4, I couldn't really. Uh, there was a couple I could have probably added on, but we'll start. We'll, we'll let this one go unhinged a bit. But this one, Nightmares Jump Scare Sound, when you, like, edit it a little bit, it's like a siren or some sort of a song. <sighs> this is interesting. Okay, because it could be a mistake that Scott forced me, or it could be intentional, and that you're meant to invert the sound. Because it goes do 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 Normally it's like do 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 And then it's like when you slide down it goes do 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 It's like a siren or it could be some sort of song Which one do you think it is? Do you think it's a siren or a song? Which one do you think it would be? I think it's probably a siren That it's either Scott Cawthon has edited the sound to make the jump scare itself Or it's an actual part of the FNAF world And that's just maybe maybe part of its origin in Nightmare you know? Yeah, because you're saying that it's like the ambulance coming to to save the kid after um he's been bitten. That's true. That's, it could, that be, could after, be that. Because remember, he was in a coma. That could also be his life support monitor. The thing like is, after, uh, so if we're saying his heart rate is rapidly decreasing or increasing, here's a here's a again. weird question as well. In um in like flat and if you, hold on, sorry. If you think about it, it said that he was uh. Crying child or CC was in a coma for like what one to two weeks or something before he died, right? And that was meant to be his nightmare. What if while he was getting jump scared, that was his heart rate increasing on the monitor in the real world? Oh. And that's when he finally had a heart attack and died. Alright. Do you get do you get what I'm trying to say? Uh not really. <laughs> like in the real world. His heart rate was rapidly increasing because of the jump scare in his nightmares. Oh, and that kills and him. That's, and that's the sound his nightmare is giving off. It's his. Oh, yeah, his, I get it. Like, I get it now. Yeah, I get it. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. But going on with FNAF 4, um, you know how in, like, like, you know how in, like, the mini game and the, but then the mini game's like one, he's like, he just has like one room with one door, but then in the actual game you play it, it's like a completely different place. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I don't really know what to say about that one. Though. Because the I thing is, in sister locations, they both like, definitely exist in reality because they're both on the map in the, um, in the, is it the, the breaker room, is it? Yeah, the breaker room. Yeah, yeah, the breaker room. The, both uh, of them are on the map. And the thing is, it's like, it, it's, see, I think it's like a specific place, maybe Maeve or him, because it's like, it's literally just like a ho like two hallways in one room and a kitchen. Yeah, it's interesting. So it's, and that, also, like, why not show the private room as well? Because that's also a part of the location sort of area. Yeah, what about the private room, yeah? But they never really showed it. Unless that's maybe intentionally trying to drive you away from it, because that has some sort of control system in it. Could be. But I don't know what. Yeah, what is the private room you're trying to say? It's, it's probably it's, just. Yeah, it's even to this day, it's still kind of a mystery. Like why they never mentioned it at all, or even the AI himself. That's it's, I think he said it, you stumbled into like an unauthorized. I think Henny says you accidentally stumbled into an unauthorized area. You have to wait until the cleaning crew arrives at 6 a.m. Yeah, so maybe it's meant to be like. Maybe a gassing happened, like a radiation spill, and that's why there's a cleaning crew, hence, you know. I doubt unless, it, I doubt unless it. Unless you've also stumbled across, like, a dead body, a dead, uh, dead body, or, or uh, they've discovered that Enid is active, and that's then trying to get rid of it. You know, it, there's, there could be a, a, a numerous uh, thing of possibilities, but I'm completely getting off topic now, so let's just. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, where are we up to now? Um,. I don't have anything for FNAF World. Alright, for FNAF Sister Location, there's a, um, people got confused between who was, who was the person in FNAF 3 minigame that went in the suit. Was it William or Michael? Because Michael was purple as well. So people, and plus in the end of the, uh, the, one of the cutscenes, where he's like, I'm going to come find you, like, Father, it's me, Michael, and then Springtrap shows up. So people yeah. said that it was Springtrap saying that line. But now we think it's actually, uh, Michael trying to find Springtrap at that location and then Springtrap he hears him so he comes out. And he probably okay, leaves that area. So this is interesting. Is I he... believe at this point, because the FNAF timeline is so screwed up, I believe at this point Michael's already been scooped and that's why he's become purple. But No, I appreciate sure it's because he's be... No, you know how at the at the end the the mini game cuts in, it shows the A bit and like he's he's walking down the hall or they're walking down the street. Everyone's waving at him, and then he slowly gets green, and then he becomes purple. I think it's because like his skin's rotting, isn't it? Yeah, it's his skin rotting, but that's also the reason he's not dead is because uh, that's the scooting machine had some sort of like remnant keeper in it that William made to kill children and put a remnant inside of, I believe. Oh, and, could be, maybe I don't know. And that's the reason he survived because he never actually expected like his son to die by it. But the thing is. When you, once you see Ender leave and go into the sewer, you never really see Mark get back up. He's kind of just left there, right? No, he, no, it's like it's like he he pukes him out, and then Baby's like, "You won't die." She keeps saying that, and he, he goes back up, and he's got the like the, the um those eyes, like the cl the classic the, the 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 black the black void and the white pupil, like those eyes, the classic eyes. Insinuating that he's pretty much dead. But like then he's still conscious, and he's still somewhat conscious, because he definitely, he speaks to, he speaks in that last cutscene, and he says he's gonna come find him. Yeah, he goes, um, like, he, he comes, he says, like, I'm and he, going, And I'm you're here, and he's, he's, father. he's implied to be the one you're playing as in, voice. in, Pizza Sim. Yeah, but his voice kind of gets disordered as well. But that, that, no, that the thing is, okay, well. okay, I gotta clear this up, I gotta clear this up. Scott said that it was, he tried to slow down the, the, I'm going to come find you. He tried to make it to Instead of saying, I'm going to come find you, he's trying to, he tried to make it so, I'm going to come find you, like that. Trying to make it slow down for more a dramatic effect, but it, it made yeah, it sound like a robot, sort of which confused people. Like really but he's not, he's not animatronic is a thing, he tried to clear that up. Yeah, but that's, that also begs the question, how is Michael able to talk in the first place? Didn't he have all his organs scooped up? Yeah, that's the thing, that's weird. And talking becomes some, like... I see, we like somehow possess his own body or something. Something, something on the lines on how, uh, on how William's still alive because and how he can talk even though like his organs are probably completely destroyed and his voice box. That could also be like yeah, but at the same time, that's also like the voice box from 
uh, Spring Pony, maybe it's Could be like that, yeah. consciousness is rewired, the, the voice box is saying what he wants. Well, Michael, he needs, like, air and, like, a vocal cords and, you know, stuff to do that. But, I, I don't know, it's kind of a mystery, unless he has, like, an angel form. Well, it's a, it's a video form. game about animatronics that come to life and try to kill the person. And so, that's that's probably not like, the most important bit. That's probably... That's probably why we're probably overthinking stuff. Very much, but you know that's what FNAF is about. Completely overthinking. It. I mean, you, have you seen the survival book? That's about overthinking much. Yeah. So that's all we had, but we're gonna have one more little um, a little um bonus thing. I want you to react to this video I made. It's kind of it's related to FNAF. You know um, can you check out? Go pull it up on your laptop actually. For me. Yeah. Right. Go go to my channel and go to the Blurst Videos playlist, and then play the last video on that playlist. Alright, YouTube. Golden Saddle. Not Going Saddle, Going yeah. Sad, or <laughs> Going Saddle, that's what YouTube usually says. It's Golden Saddle YouTube captions, okay? Alright, so I'll So go to the playlist, Blurst. Playlists. Blurst videos, and, and then go to the last one in there. Blurst videos, right? Yeah, then the last one in there. The last one is the lines up too well. Alright. I've got my camera so you can see this too. Put the audio up, put the audio up. Replay it, replay and put the audio up. Is that you, Johnson? No. What's going on? Then who was it? Vanny! What was Vanny? What the blithering ways of Vanny? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's Vanny! Oh, it's Richard! It doesn't help because there's an A on the dude. What? Oh my god! There's an A on him. And it lines up so well. There's an A on him. What the heck? What the heck? Oh my god, that's great! I also did the captions if you want to see those. Guys, if you want to find this, it's hilarious. I'll it's put it unlisted. I'll make them watch it one day. I mean, guys, if you want to ever watch this, it's on the Gold Channel uh, YouTube channel. It's stuff like it's that on this channel, in yeah. In the Blurst videos playlist, it's the 19th. Yes. Like, yeah, it's the 19th video in the Blurst uh, videos playlist in the Gold Channel YouTube channel. Uh, you just go to the playlist sections and you should be able to find it, like the fourth playlist there. That's great. Alright, that's it for this video, and we might, I'm not sure if we're going to do a club, maybe we might do one maybe soon, I don't know what that will be, but I hope you guys like and comment, like, subscribe, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.